Here. 840. Here. 840. Here. 842. Here. 841. Here. 820. Here. 821. Here. 820. Here. 850. Here. Does everybody have an IP? Yes. Perfect. Uh, load calcs for today for managers 27 degrees at 1500. Make sure you get those to the box. You're not going to get any missions until after those are posted. Uh, if you find you need something different out there, let me know. We'll make a correction for tomorrow and or this afternoon. Today's weather. Uh, discussion. Gradual cooling trend continues into the weekend. Mostly sunny skies expected. Wind should remain on the lighter side with the usual shifting easterly to westerly winds by the early afternoon each day. Low daytime RH and dry weather to continue into early next week over this location. Saturday, mostly sunny, max temp 78 to 82. Minimum humidity 29 to 34. And winds, northeast winds up to 6, shifting to the west up to 7 in the afternoon. Ridge tops west around 6. And chance of winning rain and LAL of 1. Uh, turn it over to the deck. Good morning, Eric Barrera on the deck for Eureka Hella Base. A couple of things to cover with you guys. The flagging on the ground out in front of the trailer here is what we've identified. Anything beyond that is our hot deck. So for CAL FIRE personnel not assigned to a flight crew, minimum safety gear is Nomex top, hard hat, safety glasses, and earplugs. Um, I do ask that all the flight crews as you're traveling back and forth to your aircraft, be heads up and aware of aircraft taking off or landing. If there is something like that going on, please go to the nearest aircraft, hold up, wait for that the next ship to either land or take off, and then proceed to your aircraft. Um, for both those, uh, take off and landing for the fly crews. Uh, once the rotors are turning, you guys are to uh, make sure to clear the airspace and radio so that when you guys come in. Speak up. Any issue, any issue with any of the pads where you guys park? Okay. You guys come in, just hit me on deck when your flight time. Managers. Managers and the flight crews, as you guys progress today, you're going to start off with the bread and butter water dropping. If you're successful and you're showing uh, proficiency in that, the Helco will be tasking you with increasingly more difficult successful the whole time in advance. Someone gets a prize at the end of the day if it goes well. With that, um, I will um, help those and the ground crews that are going to be out there today. When we're done, we're going to have a quick breakout with help those and the crew. About to do is always dangerous work, right? No matter what we're doing, how we're doing it. Um, we put aircraft around, put a lot of moving people around, we put buckets underneath things, we start flying around and if somebody's not paying attention to what they're doing, right? The outcome is usually very negative. So I ask, you know, this is our opportunity during training, take it slow, do the right things, mitigate the risks, take a look at what you're doing. This is where we train, right? Most of our crews that are here today um, have numerous amount of hours. We have new adults, I understand, that are, are training up, right? So this is where we work those problems out, work as a partner. I heard uh, there's some grand prize at the end of the day. I hope it's not a drop the bucket award, all right? But uh, <laughs> work together today to do the right thing, right? So that when we're out on the fire lines, we're doing the right thing when it really counts and we're not getting somebody hurt out there, all right? Um, members of Joint Enterprise, so I, I'm now the uh, director of Joint Staff, so when you get onto a fire line, that's both for our air and army personnel. I'm the guy that's running the show at the big side of things now. Um, and I have a lot of experience doing it. I've been the J3 and the deputy J3. John and I go back a long ways. We've had some really great arguments all the way down the road. Um, he got to the retirement end and got back in before I did, but I'm getting real close to uh, joining him somewhere at a bar where we watch all this from now on. So, all right, so um, I'm real proud to uh, you know be out here with you all, and uh, it's a real pleasure and an honor now to have the command for the JTFDS. And I look forward to a great fire season, hopefully a nice short fire season this year. I know everybody put a lot of effort in last year, and uh, maybe this year we'll, we'll have a little bit of reduction on that. But whatever we're going to do, right, I appreciate greatly the sacrifice you, you all have to make when the state asks us to uh, come and deploy. Um, 
please, you've got to know that the Adjutant General appreciates greatly every weekend you have to give up for this. But at the end of the day, it's about Californians, it's about saving lives, it's about um, rescuing people, it's about keeping property from burning. And that's why we're all California Guardsmen, and that's why we're here to support Cal Fire. All right? So, hey, John, you got any words? Okay. <laughs> Find somebody and ask. The other thing I want to state, there's going to be a senior guy here on deck here. If there's an unscheduled landing here, that senior guy is taking command here and running the show. Because I'll be down teaching. If it's out in the field, like Matheson will be out in the field, take the ball and run. If he's happened to be gone, somebody out, take command out there and run the show till we get there. Any questions? The guys are already.